This video it demonstrates how to use FXPCT software to make a program for PCV controller. PCV controller is used to control the VAV box. Um, so let's start uh, the software. And we start from the file here. Uh, if, uh, now we make a new, a new one, new project. Uh, if you have, uh, you have, you have a program, and then you can open. Uh, you can open. Uh, but now we make a new, uh, new program, uh, new project. Uh, uh, here is the new system. The new system is a new. Uh, Controller, a new controller. This system name, you can make any name, uh, any name here. Right? Uh, for now, for this this uh, project is uh, for for PCV controller. A uh, PCV controller control the VAV box. Uh, so here we give the name VAV box. Uh, VAV box. And this VAV box, suppose it's in the room one. Uh, in the room one, this is a room one in the building. All right. Okay. So this this is uh, this name. You can get any name. Uh, you can get any name. And the system type here, you can see there are so many different type, um, different type system, uh, like air handling units. Fan coil, uh, unit ventilators, uh, heat pump, uh, VAV box, uh, sen central heating, and so on. Uh, many different modules. Uh, so <clears throat> here uh, we uh, make the program for PCV controller. This is for VAV box. Right? So VAV box, there are different, uh, different types. Single duct or dual duct, uh, and then we select uh, here. We select a, a single one, uh, single single duct, right? And the unit, uh, the units you will, you can select imperial, uh, imperial or metric system. Uh, you can select the, e, either one. Uh, now we select the uh, imperial. Uh, then we save. Uh, this is the system we set up. And the, <clears throat> here you see a uh, mechanical system. Uh, this mechanical system is the VV box. Uh, what components are uh, in this VV box? Right? You can see uh, the supply damper actuator. Supply damper actuator. This, uh, this one, there are different ways. Uh, for the control, uh, the different type of control, uh, integrated uh, actuator, uh, prof <clears throat> proportional actuator, uh, incremental uh, actuator, uh, different different type of control. Uh, so um, uh, here we select uh, the integrated actuator. And here you can see exhaust damper uh, actuator. Uh, this one's uh, it's in the room, so it's only supply, no exhaust, uh, no exhaust, and no box fan, uh, no box fan. And the coils, uh, the coils here, uh, we don't use, uh, we don't use box heating. Uh, so we uncheck it uh, and we use a supplemental heating uh, we use a supplemental heating uh, we said this is a uh, in the room uh, in the room we just uh, use the supplemental heating for the uh, VAV box uh, uh, different source uh, different source uh, here we select the uh, <coughs> Electrical one, uh, electrical one. Uh, um, 
for the uh, VV box, uh, VV box well, uh, the PCB controller, uh, the PCB controller, we can use this controller to control the lighting in this room. Uh, so we select the lighting uh, here. And the sensor for the VAV box, uh, there are different sensors, uh, there are different sensors. One is the uh, supply air temperature. Uh, this one we need to uh, we need to check the supply air temperature. Uh, so we select this one. And in this room, in this room, uh, the <coughs> temperature, this room temperature, uh, there should be a, a thermostat to control the room temperature, uh, the room temperature. So there is a temperature set point. So you, you will use a thermostat to do the setting. Uh, so we select the set point adjust, uh, uh, set point adjust. Uh, and the lighting uh, here, the lighting here, uh, the lighting, uh, we will use the occupancy sensor uh, to control the lighting. Uh, so this sensor is come with the thermostat. Uh, you come with the thermostat. Uh, and these are another control, uh, another uh, network system. Uh, this is another another type of network system, right? So we don't uh, we don't use. Uh, so then continue. Here, this is the control logic. Uh, control logic, like here, uh, like here. This is the schedule occupancy. Uh, schedule occupancy. This is the you see the override support, right? Override support. Yeah. Uh, which means, uh, which means the operator can adjust the schedule for this building. Uh, so we select override. Uh, we, se we select the override support. Uh, and the supplemental heating use first, uh, because uh, uh, for this VAV box, it's only uh, the electric heat, uh, supplemental heating source. So if you use this one. Uh, and the unit here, uh, uh, Optional, uh, optional fixtures here. There are many different uh, fixtures. Uh, there are many different fixtures, like the small control. Uh, uh, this is uh, the higher level control. Uh, uh, we don't select uh, if the uh, VAV box control contains this function, then you can select, right? Uh, the unit enable this one. We select the imperial. Uh, unit already, right? So we don't select this one. And this is a power fail restart logic. Uh, this one, if the uh, VAV box con contains this uh, fixture, you can select uh, energy hold off. Uh, this is uh, other functions. Uh, this is the network Walmart cooling uh, cold down support. Uh, this one we need to use. Uh, we need to, uh, so we select this one. Uh, 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 similar to like the, you print, uh, you use the printer, you print some uh, documents. Uh, you start the printer, the printer needs some time to warm up. Uh, so this is the, uh, to start or stop the system, uh, the process to start or to stop the system, right? So we select this function, right? And uh, the others, uh, the others, uh, if the system contains, then you can select. Uh, here, we just uh, select the 
network warm up uh, and cool down support then finish right? and then the program automatic generated uh, let's see <clears throat> Here, this is the program, uh, program overview. Uh, and this area, uh, this area, uh, this area is the input, uh, the signal input, uh, signal input. And this side, the other side here, the right side, uh, right side of this area, this is the uh, output, uh, input signal, and this is the output, output signal, uh, this is output signal. And here you can see uh, parameters, uh, the cooling, heating, uh, uh, parameters will show you here uh, and these are the connection uh, connection between the input uh, to output uh, the input blo uh, blocks and output blocks here uh, just show you the connections between the input and output here and here's the state uh, and the state, show you the state uh, and uh, some other uh, here, uh, show you the uh, the backnet, uh, the backnet uh, system uh, here. And <clears throat> for this program, uh, we need to do some settings, uh, some settings uh, here. And here, this is the uh, supply air temperature. Uh, supply air temperature here, you can see the signal is nickel 1K RTD, right? This is a one type of the sensor. But the sensor we use uh, in this system, in our lab, uh, that's a RTD, a different type RTD. So we need to do the setting for this sensor. Uh, so right click and modify the signal. Uh, here, is, this is the original uh, default one. Uh, th this is the default. Uh, and we can, here, that's the resistive because the RTD we have as the uh, resistive type. Uh, RTD, uh, so which means the the sensor RTD, uh, if the temperature change, and then its resistance will change. Uh, if the temperature uh, increase, the resist resistance will increase. If the temperature drop, the resistance will decrease. Uh, so we select a resistive uh, for. Uh, the sen uh, the, for the sensor right. so okay now you can see uh, now you can see the signal it's resistive uh, the signal is a resistive type the sensor uh, now we do some setting for this sensor here you can see uh, we make an edit uh, we add it uh, here. Uh, be different type material. Uh, here, this one, <clears throat> this part, the hardware setup. Uh, all these value here. Uh, if different material, the value will be different. Uh, this one, uh, if the temperature is low, uh, like the, uh, let's say. The temperature is 32 Fahrenheit degree. 
at a high degree, <coughs> then the res uh, the resistance of the RTD, the resistance is uh, 101.8. Uh, this one you can check the data sheet uh, if you know. Uh, and then if the temperature is 212 Fahrenheit degree, yeah, this is a boiling point, right? And then its resistance is 138.8 uh, ohms. Uh, so if the temperature uh, if the temperature is 32 Fahrenheit degree, the resistance is 101.8 ohms. If the temperature is 212 Fahrenheit degree, and then the resistance is uh, 138.8 ohms. Uh, and if the this is the signal input. Uh, so the RTD sends the temperature. If sends the temperature is a, a 32 uh, Fahrenheit degree, then its resistance is 101.8 ohms. Uh, if it <clears throat> it sends the temperature is 212 Fahrenheit degree, then the resistance is. Uh, <clears throat> 138.8 ohms. So, and under this this value, and then we we'll output uh, the temperature is 32 Fahrenheit degree, or uh, 212 Fahrenheit degree. Uh, so this is the uh, uh, the setting for this uh, RTD sensor. So now we apply and then close. We complete the setting for RTD sensor, right? And here, <clears throat> this is discharge air, discharge uh, air uh, velocity pressure. Uh, this is an internal signal, uh, internal signal. Let's see the signal type. This single type you can see here, uh, uh, this uh, velocity pressure, uh, velocity pressure is an integrate uh, digital velocity pressure. Uh, so it's a velocity pressure. This is airflow, uh, airflow velocity pressure. So uh, we don't uh, we don't change any uh, for this one. And this is the occupancy sensor. Uh, this is an occupancy sensor. Occupancy sensor is come with the thermostat. Uh, thermostat is connect to SA bus. Uh, SA bus. So you can see the signal here is SA bus. Uh, so this is a. Uh, uh, it's correct. Uh, we don't need to change for the occupancy sensor. Uh, if the occupancy sensor is another device. It's not come with the uh, thermostat, then we need to do a setting for it. Uh, and here, uh, this is the uh, zone temperature set point. The zone temperature set point, which is the thermostat, uh, the thermostat adjust the, to, uh, to the set point. So we see this one, the thermostat is connected to uh, SA bus. So the signal is from SA bus, so we don't need to change. Uh, and here, this is the room temperature. Uh, zoom temperature, it's also uh, from the thermostat. Uh, the thermostat sends the room temperature. So we don't need to change, uh, uh, change the zoom temperature sensor here. But we, 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 do, we do need to uh, do some setting for the set point here. The set point here, uh, you can see uh, we added 
uh, added here. Uh, this is a uh, uh, operator override. Uh, op operator override. We just send the control logic. Uh, control logic is a we select override uh, support. So here's operator override, which means the operator even the uh, the people in the building they can do the the set point. Uh, everyone want to adjust the room temperature. Uh, right. So this is a op uh, operator override. So this one it's okay. Right. So we just uh, apply and close it. Uh, we don't do any ch uh, change. And the zoom temperature edit, uh, edit here. And then here we, uh, you can see uh, the default temperature. Uh, uh, this is a, uh, Increment, uh, increment is at 0 0.3, uh, 0 0.3, and the default temperature is at uh, 72. So, which is a, uh, uh, it's fine, uh, it's fine. Maybe you can set 70, a uh, uh, very high degree for the default. Uh, either either one you like, right? So we don't do, we don't change anything for this one. Then we, uh, oh, it's okay. And here, occupancy here, uh, we can uh, we can do some setting for this one. Uh, here, default uh, is uh, is occup occupied, but usually, usually the uh, the default is unoccupied, uh, unoccupied, right? So we set to default is unoccupied. The whole building at the beginning, no people, uh, no people. So then we set uh, it's unoccupied. Uh, and here also we set unoccupied. And this is the occupancy sensor, uh, occupancy sensor. Um, That's it uh, for here, and then we close, uh, apply, and close. Uh, and also, we need to check uh, supply flow calculation. Uh, this is for the system to calculate the airflow. Uh, the airflow depends on the airflow velocity and the size of the duct. The airflow velocity is just sensed by the, uh, the pressure differential sensor inside the duct. Uh, this signal is input uh, to the controller. Uh, uh, for the area of the duct, uh, uh, the duct size, its diameter is 6 inches. So its area, the cross area, is around 0 0.18 square feet. Uh, so here, this is the this is the area. Uh, the area is a, a, a 0 0.18 square feet. Uh, the pickup gain is zero. So uh, the setting for supply flow calculation, uh, it's okay. So close, and we have set up for this one already, uh, for the input signal already, right? Output here uh, is also, we can uh, output here, this is a damper. Uh, this damper output is the integrate, which means the uh, analog is an integrate uh, value output. And this one, this is the uh, output lighting. Uh, this is a, a contact. Uh, it will close or open. Uh, close or uh, uh, is a 
turn on or turn off, right? Uh, let's do here, you see again, it's on or off, right? And you can see the uh, default state, uh, default the state is uh, off, right? Uh, this is off. Uh, you see, default is off. Uh, this unit, the unit for uh, for lighting, that's the on or off, right? So we apply and then OK. Uh, so we, di we didn't change any. Uh, this one's occupancy mode here. And also we change, uh, we change it to unoccupied as a default. Uh, and then here we change to unoccupied as a default. Uh, and then uh, that's it here. And then we apply and then close it. Right. And this is the heating, uh, heating output, same thing, the start or stop the heating. So it's on or off. Uh, so you can see here, the default is on, off, and this is off, this uh, the unit's on off, right? So it's okay, we then we close it. Uh, now we complete the setting for the input and output, right? Now we complete the uh, program. Uh, we complete this program, right? and then we <clears throat> uh, we need to load this program to the controller. Uh, but before we load the program to the controller, we need to define the hardware, which means we need to select the controller, or which controller we need to uh, to do the program. Uh, so we select the program. Uh, uh, select the controller. Uh, here you can see, uh, this is the uh, VAV box uh, room one. Uh, this, uh, this is the name of this project. I will show you here, you can see the project. But the uh, this is the controller uh, model number. Uh, the what we have it's a eighteen thirty two. It's not this one. So we need to select the one we we have. Uh, so here, yeah, you can see these are different type controllers. Uh, here, this is the one uh, we are doing. Uh, the the uh, PCV 1832 controller. This is a uh, we are working on. So we select this one, and then it's okay. Uh, the device, uh, which is the controller, uh, is maybe uh, room one. So it's okay. So then now you can see, uh, you can see here, the VAV room one. FX PCV 1832. This is the project, uh, and this is the uh, device model number with the controller model number here. So we select the uh, controller here, right? and let's see the points assigned. Uh, the points assigned to here, uh, the, the input signal, uh, the input which is there's some uh, sensors uh, connect. Uh, you see the, um, the RTD, uh, RTD uh, sends the supply air temperature, which is uh, we connect to uh, input one, uh, input one, or you can connect to input two. Uh, if you connect to input two, and then you can move this one to the input two, uh, uh, you can move to input two, uh, depends the uh, your installation. Uh, then we move back here. <clears throat> and here, this is the discharge air velocity pressure. Uh, this is at the, the, those two tube. Uh, those two tube will sense the, uh, 
the airflow, uh, the differential pressure, uh, will input the signal here uh, at this point. These are internal. Uh, you can see analog input, uh, input one. This is internal. Uh, this is internal. Uh, and he, here at the bottom, here from this line, these are output. Uh, yeah, so output lighting. Uh, these are output lighting. These are turn on or turn off their lights. Uh, this is the uh, heating, uh, supplemental heating uh, uh, on or off. And this is the control the damper. Uh, here is the control the damper. This damper control is integrity. Integrity. Uh, uh, here you can see the, uh, the point as assigned. Uh, the point assigned here. Uh, in some case, the point not assigned will show you here. If not assigned, it will show you here, this area. Uh, and if it's not assigned, then you can manually sign. Uh, you select the one, need to sign, need to assign, and then you uh, click this one, assigned to, uh, uh, to the points here. Right? Now we, uh, you see the net, uh, network setting. Uh, network setting here is the, uh, in the system, network system. This controller, uh, what the address is. Uh, the address is det determined by the deep switch. Uh, you can set the address and uh, use the deep switch. Uh, uh, so the, this address, you can set any, uh, any number. Uh, follow the rule, you can set uh, any number, uh, but no repeat in the, uh, in the system, right? So let's see here, uh, with the deep switch, we set it uh, 14. Uh, suppose we set it 14, uh, later we can check. Uh, set to 14, and then um, instant number, this is the back idea number. Uh, so also we can set 14, uh, you can set 14. You can set any number, uh, you can set any number. And now it's complete the uh, setting for the uh, for the hardware, uh, which is the uh, con uh, PCB controller, and then we close. Uh, and so we close. Now we load the program. We load this program. This program is complete. Uh, we load this program to the controller. We load this program to the controller. So here, uh, this is a, this function is a load the program uh, to the controller. Uh, uh, PCT, there are different uh, different version. Uh, this version, there is a low function here. Uh, no, there is a low function here. The video before you see, uh, you know this function here, but you can. Um, use the transfer uh, from the tool uh, on top here, uh, the tool from top here, all right? So we load the program, uh, load this program. Uh, because we, uh, we, uh, we did some change, uh, we make some change, uh, and so the uh, system asks, uh, save the changes, uh, so yes. Uh, and this program uh, is complete, and then we save. Uh, we save this program. Uh, we save this program uh, to any folder. Uh, to any folder, uh, you can select. Uh, and here, you see the load the program. Uh, uh, right now, we complete the program. We load the program to the controller. So this is a download to device. Uh, this process is called download to the device. Uh, upload from device, this is a 
uh, there is a program in the controller. So we we download, uh, we upload the program from the controller to the computer. Then we select the upload from the device. Uh, now we uh, complete the program in my computer, and then we load this work. Um, we load this program to the controller. Uh, so we select download to device. Uh, uh, bound rate, uh, bound rate is the uh, the bit speed, uh, bit speed. Uh, so it's recommend uh, thirty eight thousand four hundred. Uh, here you can see the different value here, uh, but uh, it's recommend thirty eight thousand four hundred. This one, so we keep it. Uh, and the to download the program to the controller, uh, we use a Bluetooth device. Uh, Bluetooth device. Bluetooth device. Uh, we uh, uh, we need to make sure which COM port uh, for the communication uh, from the computer. So we need to check the computer. Uh, we need to check the computer uh, uh, which uh, Bluetooth device. Uh, so from here, you can see the Bluetooth device. Uh, you show all Bluetooth device. Uh, here, <clears throat> we'll show you <clears throat> all the Bluetooth device uh, nearby uh, in the L in the area and this is the device uh, the Bluetooth device we have we are using so we we will use this one but this one we need to we need to know which COM port uh, in the computer so uh, we can see here um, from the control panel to, to see the Bluetooth device. Uh, Bluetooth device, uh, this is the one we are using, uh, Bluetooth device. So we click it, uh, double click, uh, and <clears throat> then we can uh, uh, click uh, service. And then from here, you can see the Bluetooth device is connect to uh, Comport, uh, Comport five. So remember, this is a Com five, uh, Comport five. Uh, then we know uh, it's Comport five. Uh, and <clears throat> now here we just input five here. Uh, input five here. Uh, then next. See this is in the system. You can see uh, the uh, this one is a connect to VV box room one, uh, room one. Uh, so you select this one. Uh, maybe it will show you many here in the system. Uh, if the system connect to many uh, controllers, and then you select the one you are working on. Uh, the next. Here is uh, the, um, uh, the device information. I'll show you the device information here. Uh, and then we finish. Uh, finish. So now the, uh, the program is loading, uh, loading to the controller it's download in process uh, download it in process and if the download is closed in process 
then you can see the Bluetooth. The Bluetooth with the blue light, it's flashing. So you can see the computer and the controller, they are communicating each other. Right? So the loading the program uh, to the controller is complete. Uh, uh, this is the how to load the program to the controller.